Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 46 of the Near Death Experience podcast. Um, thank you all for uh, tuning in as long as you have already. And once again, sorry for the uh, gap in episodes. Uh, I did think that at this point there was definitely um, an episode to be made. Um, I'm going to be talking about gaming briefly, uh, so I'm just going to basically cover that Diablo 2 Resurrected has a lot of cool things going on from what I've seen. Um, apparently there's been some like cryptic stuff happening in, with the uh, chat gem, so that's worth checking out. Um, I'm currently taking kind of a, a break from Path of Exile. I didn't feel that my character and my progress were really doing that well, and because of the loot problems, it was really killing my motivation to really keep going on trade. Um, I didn't feel like I was finding enough to supplement, you know, all the things that I wanted to do. And the fixes didn't really come in uh, hot and heavy enough to uh, really warrant me, I would think, you know, going on for too much longer, at least, especially for the uh, current league. So Calandra is, uh, at this very moment, pretty much off of my radar. Um, I don't think that I'll be... Um, playing it in a lot of detail. Um, and, you know, that's that's just what it's going to be. Um, yeah, I am still done with Diablo 3. Uh, I don't really have the urge to go back to it. Um, I know the Diablo 4 beta is... Closed beta is soon-ish. Um, I would like to participate in it because it's new and it's Diablo, so, you know, <laughs> that that kind of resonates with me. And I've said, uh, you know, publicly a lot of times that, you know, even though I spent a lot of time criticizing Blizzard, I do want to try Diablo 4. Um, I try to be as constructive as I can with any criticisms that I level at it. Um, but I, I just want it to be fun. Uh, same with Path, Path of Exile. I support, you know, them a lot. Um, I bought supporter packs for a lot of leagues in a row. Um, but, you know, in either case, I like what's going on. Um, I'm going to like Path of Exile going forward, I would think. And I'll probably have Diablo on my schedule again, too. So that's going to be great. Um, but the, the, uh, the big topic, the, uh, big, big, uh, big thing going on here, um, is really why I'm making this and, uh, apologies for the, like, giant brightness here. Um, I'm going to take you to my, uh, other monitor here. So this has been big news. Um, the content of this is basically to say that anyone on a premium contract, and they do call it premium, with Twitch, and that's like the upper echelon of streamers, which I am not one of. <laughs> but I'll explain how this affects me in different ways. So um, they want to say, OK, upper tier streamers, we want to change your revenue split from the current 70-30 to 50-50. And we want to do this for anyone that has earned over $100,000. So this is, this is the uh, meat and potatoes of it. So they're saying, okay, well, we're not changing it now. But after... June 1, 2023, any contracts renewed after that point are going to have this split. Or any new contracts signed 
after that point. So if you signed a new contract now, and it's going to take you to September, you know, 2023, you won't know the effect of this until that point, basically, is what they're saying here. Um, what they're also trying to do is say uh, that, you know, you can supplement this revenue with the increase in our ads program, uh, where we give you 55%. You know, you should be able to make that up. And, you know, here is also a lot of truth, too, because for a lot of streamers, and that includes myself, I'm not actually affected by this particular thing. I barely get paid out by Twitch as it is uh, because I'm so occasional, and I'll go into why that is. But, um, Essentially, what I don't like about Twitch is this mentality that you need to be on and present a lot. Um, so that's one part of it. And I would rather just take things at my own pace. I currently don't have any subs. But, you know, I have my other content, like this podcast, uh, that I try to use as alternate ways of promoting myself. And I have my YouTube channel that is going to get more attention. But uh, one of the big things that hurts discoverability on Twitch is the ads. And what this is trying to enforce is more ads. So they're saying, okay, well, you know, sure, we're taking uh, a good chunk of your revenue away, but you can play more ads, right? So kind of the combination of stuff that's happening here is really what's causing the uh, cluster um you know as as a small streamer i'm an affiliate on that agreement i would definitely consider if they're gonna like keep this in like supposing all of the bullshit that's going on uh just you know ends and what we end up with is back to 70 30 and you know somehow twitch just sort of backs off which i'm gonna say they're not um so let's say everything goes on as is youtube actually offers this 70 30 split and from what i understand it's to every uh like partner creator, not just this like premium tier. Um, so, I mean, you know, I, I had a problem with ads um, and Twitch is just basically trying to shoehorn more of them at you by making them unskippable, by contractually obligating streamers who would not want to run ads to run ads at a certain rate per hour. It's just... It's it's kind of crazy. Um, I mean, you know, they're trying to also back out of it, out of it, and say, it's, you know, we might negotiate on a case by case. But, yeah, right. Okay, that's saying like, oh, hey, Quinn, just as a name. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to give you this fifty fifty split. Let, let's take you to sixty, uh, or even keep you at seventy thirty. To keep you on our platform. Out of my ass scenario. Probably wouldn't happen. But this is what I'm talking about. In terms of those edge cases. That they might negotiate with. But you know. There's there's not a whole lot else to say. Um, this is kind of a short episode. But I guess. Really what I'm aiming at is. I'm going to look into two options. So the first one, I'm going to see if I can't uh, multi-stream on Twitch and YouTube uh, simultaneously and take advantage of the uh, double exposure that it would give me. But I still don't like the ads. Um, I, I don't want to run them. Uh, and I still feel like if I am simulcasting, it would encourage people to leave Twitch and just watch the YouTube feed. So it, it's kind of odd, uh, to be perfectly honest. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to look into either number one, simulcasting, or number two, moving completely uh, to YouTube and saying, screw you, Twitch. Um, forget about it. So uh, this, this could be the last Twitch broadcast. I, I don't know, but um, that's where I am. Uh, seems like that's where a lot of people's heads are at. There are a lot of great creators I like on Twitch, and I, you know, would really like to see it succeed, but it's just been kind of one blow after another. You know what I mean? I, I don't feel like I'm really, uh, you know, being put in a position where I can succeed without sacrificing a lot of my life uh, to get there. Like, you know, to be obligated to stream 120 plus hours in a month, that's, you're spending like 60 hours a week or more streaming, and it, that's just it's not healthy. Um, yeah, I, I can't really abide by that. Um, I'm going to get this on YouTube as well. Uh, like I said, this is a much shorter episode than I usually do, but, uh, there's not much to be said otherwise. Um, let me know what you think in the YouTube comments. Uh, you know, like, and subscribe on YouTube. <laughs> wink, wink. Um, I know there's plugins for OBS that can allow, you know, multi server, but anyway, uh, I'll test it out. I don't know that my internet will be able to handle that, uh, without, you know, sending to like a site like Restream. Anyhow. Anyway, I'm going to close off. Um, the TLDR is, I don't really like it. I'll link the letter that I'm referencing in the YouTube description, but, uh, have a good rest of the weekend. Um, yeah, <laughs> that, that's all I got for now. Um, if you want to support the podcast, there's a Patreon link that you can go to uh, patreon.com slash NDE un underscore podcast. Uh, it's $1 a month. Uh, we have a Discord server as well. Uh, for $250, you can get a title in our Discord server and as well as some added perks. I put all of the unpublished and, you know, kind of scuffed episodes that I redid or ended up redoing uh, on Patreon. So, um, yeah, like I said, have a good rest of the weekend. Uh, I'm going to get some food in me and sort of digest what's going on. But uh, peace out. Thanks for coming. Um, yeah. See you later.